Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, I am going to explain about the loops concept. There are 7 different types of loops in Perl. First two are while and do while. While loop is executed when the condition is evaluated to true. In do while, the block is first executed and then the condition is evaluated to true. Until loop is just opposite of while and do while. Until loop will be executed only when the condition is evaluated to false. Next is for loop. For loop can be used the same way how you use in C or in Java. You have to initialize the iterator and then give the condition then increment or decrement according to your requirement. Next is for each loop. You can actually use this for each loop to iterate through an array or a hash. Next is while each loop. This is very useful if you want to iterate through a hash. Last one is nested loops. This is very useful if you want to create a two dimensional array etc. Now let us see the loop control statements. There are five loop control statements. Next statement skips the remaining code depending on the condition. Last statement terminates the loop depending on the condition. Continue statement is executed right before the next iteration. This will not have any effect on the control flow. Redo statement restarts the loop without evaluating the condition. Next last statement is go to statement which will go to the label or expression or a subroutine. You have to write go to followed by the label name or an expression name or a subroutine name. Last loop is infinite loops. Infinite loops or recursive loops are executed where a condition never becomes false. For this you can use a for loop followed by two semicolons which means there is no initialization, no condition and there are no increment or decrement operators. This way we can implement an infinite loop. To control the infinite loop you have to use a control C and this will stop the execution of a control loop. Now let us see some examples. In this program, I am going to illustrate about the loops. Firstly, the while loop. To illustrate, I have created an array called errors where each scalar ends with string like error or ok followed by the error code. Now initialize the iterator to 0 as the first index number starts with 0 of an array. In this program, I am going to count the number of errors in this array. For this, I need a counter and initialize it to 0. While loop, give the condition. The iterator less than the size of the array. And now, I have to use a regular expression in order to count the number of errors. This is the iterator. If any element matches like error, then I have to increment the counter. And now, after the if block, increment the iterator too. Now print the counter. The same activity can be implemented by using a grep function. Now just try to print this. From while loop and from grep. It's always easy to implement any kind of loops in grep function or in map function. Now the second type of loop statement is do while loop. This condition is going to come at the end and first of all you have to write do here. Do and then if condition increment the counter if it matches error and then increment the iterator. If you can just see here, the difference between while loop and do while loop is that 
in while loop the condition is first tested and then the if condition will get tested but in do while at the end the while condition will get tested from do while loop 3 and from grep count is also 3 next is until loop until is exactly opposite to do while or while until loop executes when the condition is false until and then give the condition here you have to remove the while loop here because we are writing an until condition and then until condition I am writing here an if condition if each element matches a string like error then increment the counter after that increment the iterator and now I am going to change this message to until uh, one more thing this is for false condition now you have to change this condition that means you have to make sure that this is a false until iterator greater than I'm going to give here an index until this condition becomes true this loop is going to get executed now we have got zero before this because the condition what we have given is making the statement to true we have to make it to false for that I have changed the condition so until the condition is false this loop is going to get executed next is for loop we can write for loop the same way how we write in Java or C or C++ that is first and initiate the iterator give the condition in this program I'm going to increment this error code this error code where the string ends with ok I have to use a regular expression ok and I have to split each of the scalar for incrementing the error code the delimiter and then the string now increment the error code now update the element of the array with incremented error code and then the message ok just print this array before the for loop and after the for loop now let us test it the error code with ok are incremented if you can see here before for loop it is 100 and after incrementing the error code it is 101 we have updated the array with new error codes which are ending with ok now for loop in second way by using a range operator nothing but instead of all these things I am going to use 0 dot dot range operator ending with the last index and I will replace the iterator with the default variable now let us test it the error code has increased which are ending with ok 
Next is for each loop. Let us see for each loop first of all on a hash. For this, I am going to remove all this and create a hash called skills experiences where each key is a technology name and value is the experiences. Now to iterate this hash using a for each loop we need keys. To extract the keys of a hash just use keys percent the hash name. Now print the key value pair. Dollar underscore is the default variable which loops through the array of the keys of this hash and then give dollar underscore. I am going to use a concatenation operator here. Now let us run this script. All my hash elements are printed. This is how you can use the for each loop. For each loop on an array using the default variable. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to make this as an array. As all these are strings, just make sure they are enclosed in double quotes. Now for each on this array. Skills and then you can just remove all this. This is the default variable. All my elements of the array are printed here by using for each loop. Next is for each loop on an array using range operator. Sometimes you need for each loop using a range operator to do any kind of operations. And now for each, this one I am going to replace with last index. This dollar underscore that means default variable will be the number that means the index of this array. So to access the elements you need to write like this. You have to put the default variable in square brackets. Just try to test it now. You can get the elements of an array using for each loop and range operator. For each loop on an array using range operator with an iterator. What if you don't want to use a default variable? For that you can just write here like this. This is my iterator and replace this default variable with iterator. Just remember you have additionally written an iterator here. Before this you have written a default variable. Next is while each loop on a hash. For this I am going to create a hash. Color codes. and give some code to each of the color. Now write the while each loop to access this hash. Each on this hash. V 
we have created a key and value here equal to each and now print the key and value these are my hash elements next is nested loops now let's see how we can create a two dimensional array using nested loops i am just creating a two dimensional array and try to print this array now let us access this array there are three rows and three columns so my size is going to be 3 two dimensional array and then you have to give here the first iterator and then followed by the second iterator at the end of each row we need a new line we have two loops here first is the main loop inside that to iterate on each of the row we should need a nested for loop 0 0 means 1 0 1 means 2 0 2 means 3 so if you want to access the first row the first index is 0 and the second index is increasing by 1 so we need a for loop here now let us test it this is my two dimensional array next let us look at loop control statements first is next statement for this i am going to have an array called colors for each on this array if default variable equal to green then i am appending to the default variable plus and saying next otherwise i have to append at the end of each code hash this is nothing but you have to use a next statement if you want to specify some condition for some element for green color i want to append a symbol plus but for the others i want to append hash and then you can just say next why you can, you have to say next is because you don't want to go to the next statement whatever the expressions which are there in the next are not going to get executed we have to print it so for this let me print before for each loop also to see the difference yes see here to green a simple plus is appended now let us see next loop control statement called last last is equivalent to break in java or in c i am just going to replace next with last it terminates the loop last statement terminates the loop 
if you can see here there is no symbol which has appended because when you encounter a last statement the script will terminate next is continue statement for this I am going to have an iterator here you can write next statement like this also next if and now continue and then append with a symbol called hash and here just print the color code first of all let's see the output how it is going to come if you just see here I have this element ended with hash it will not have any effect on the control flow next is redo statement for this I'm going to use a for loop and take each of the username and loop it for three times chomp it and I'm going to write a condition here saying if the user ID is not matching with is not starting with capital P then I'm saying to redo and then after this for loop just print end now let us test this script and check the output I don't want to enter a string starting with P it is asking me to enter again I will enter Perl Python Perl the loop has executed four times if the user ID is not starting with P redo statement will ask you to enter the user IDs from the beginning that means the loop is going to restart that's what which has happened here I entered a name which is not starting with P so the redo statement has started from the beginning and three times I have entered strings which are starting with capital P that's how this loop executed next is go to statement for this I'm going to use an array like and give an iterator go to block I want to append the versions with the same version number like 2.2, 4.4 .4, like that and now print print the version number after concatenation increment it now you can give the condition go to the label which you have given I have given the label go to now you can just print the output 
this is just a loop with label go to by using go to statement can see here 2 2 44 55 like that you can get next is by using go to expression statement this is rarely used but in order to learn it we have to check how to use it like say for example i am splitting the label go same here but only the difference is I'm going to append these two statements each version number is appended with the same version number next is go to subroutine it's not used often have this versions array sub i want to create a subroutine called func1 go to another function func2 print func2 and now call this function call the main function this function has called func2 and then printed this expression this is just using a go to statement on a subroutine you have to use an ampersand while calling this function if you don't use the ampersand let's see it says can't find label func2 so when you are using go to function then use ampersand before the subroutine name next is to create an infinite loop using a for loop we can create an infinite loop that is for and just give two semicolons and just use print if you test it it's going to run it's running in order to terminate this just use control c 